Welcome to episode 6 of Boston Swap, a director of football challenge here on Boston United FM. Boston United of Conference North and Boston Town of the United Counties League have been switched in the non-league football pyramid. I've taken over at United to hopefully guide them back up the divisions. However, my board have installed a perfect director of football to take control over club transfers, scouting and backroom staff. In the last episode, we played both legs of our FA Vars semi-final against Billingham Town and edged through by three goals to two on aggregate. We have now completed the United Counties League season and ended with four straight wins without even conceding a goal. We've played a couple of friendlies in the build-up to today's trip to Wembley and came through unscathed. 38 games, 32 wins, four draws and just the two losses. We've managed to tip over the 100 goal mark as well, finishing on exactly 100 points. Deeping Rangers will join us in the level above, winning promotion ahead of Quorn by three points. At the other end, Rothwell Corinthians finished bottom and they are relegated along with Pinchbeck United. Boston Town finished the Conference North season with just 10 points, winning only two games all season. They scored 14 goals, letting in a huge 108. However, the focus is all on the FA Vars final today, as we have travelled to Wembley to play Northern Counties East League Premier Division side Yorkshire Amateur. They finished fifth in their league and also ended their season in good form. We have no injuries or suspensions, so we go with our strongest side. Hopefully Bragg will add to his 46 goals he's scored so far, and our sprinkling of lone players across the team will hope to go out on a high. So here we go. We're at Wembley. It's the biggest game of the season, really. The season was quite straightforward in terms of the league. And we have had a couple of scares in the Vars, especially in the semi-final, losing the second leg, but thankfully getting through thanks to our first leg 3-1 victory. They're going for a 4-1-4-1 or a 4-3-3, depending on how you look at it. Right, let's kick off. We've got an early highlight. It's back with Spies. We're going to build from the back. Jim Bonda. Cuts inside. Over to Minchel on that left-hand side. Doing it quite nicely. Afori and Kavanagh playing pretty well. Kavanagh has the shot, but it goes just wide. Right, we've got a long throw. Goes towards Bragg, but it's cleared. Spark is going to steal the ball back. Looks like he is, yes. Over to Hallam. Back to Kavanagh down this right-hand side. He's into the area. He's been fouled. Bragg gets the chance to make it 47 for the season. And it's in. 1-0 to the Pilgrims. Just 10 minutes gone. Hopefully that will be the first of many today. That puts him on 47 goals for the season. We've got a corner. Edwards to take. Minshew gets it on the edge of the D. A four, he scores. Straight past the keeper. Unmarked in the area. Comes to Minshew on the edge of the box. A four, he's in loads and loads of space. Uses his left foot. And it's in the opposite corner. Another long throw from Kavanagh. But it's cleared. Jason St. Just, an ex-Boston player. Is in the Yorkshire Amateur side today. Minshew to Barkers. Bragg on the edge. Out to Edwards on the left hand side. Can he get a cross in? He does. It's with Barkers. He volleys it over. Another long throw from Kavanagh. It's towards the keeper. He grabs it. Loses it, but it's cleared. Kavanagh gets it back. Building it forward again with Hallam. He's tackled. Are they going to break? Or are we going to get the ball back again? They've gone straight back to their keeper. 
launched forward. We've got it back again. A Fori over the top. Towards Bragg, he gets the ball off the defender, shoots, but it's tipped wide by Fowler. Edwards to take the corner. Goes near post, but it's cleared. And we've made it to half time. We're two goals up. We've had lots and lots of shots, lots of possession in that first half. We're ahead and we're comfortable. I think we need a third goal just to put it beyond doubt. Let's have a look and see how everybody's playing. So Edwards is having a good game at the back on the left. Kavanagh's getting a lot of the ball in terms of throw-ins and getting crosses in. But his rating's not very high. But there's no need to make any changes just yet. We'll go back into the second half. Got another corner. Bragg to take it this time. It's with Chimbonda. But he nods it just over. Right, there's about half an hour to go. Just looking at a couple of players. So Barker, he's on a book in. He's on a 6.4 rating. I think I'm going to bring him off. Going to bring Connor Smith on. Just being wary of Minchel as well. We've got Landim to come on. Maybe give him another 10 minutes or so. He's got the assist. Long throw towards Minchel. But Hallam gets it. Back to Edwards. Cross comes in. Far post. But it's cleared. Smith comes out with it for... Yorkshire amateur to Daly. Are they going to get a shot away? Got the cross in to Devlin. But I think he's offside. He is. Goal disallowed. Right, 20 minutes to go. Landim can come on for Minshew. And Johnston can come on for Kavanagh. And Chimbonda can go out to right back. That's going to be our last change. Oh, they've got a free kick. They get it into the box. But it's nodded just wide. I thought he was giving away a penalty for a second. Johnston with a free kick on halfway to Smith. Put it out to land him on this left-hand side. Back to Hallam. Smith on the edge. We're working the ball pretty well. Chimbonda. A four is in the area. And land him just nods it over. We're almost at full time. And we've won. And there's the trophy celebration. We've managed to win the FA Vars. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with Europa League qualification. But we'll definitely take it. 2-0 victory on the day. Another 29 shots, 61% possession. We've absolutely deserved it. Man of the match went to Samuel Afori. Scorer of the second goal. And it was a fantastic victory. And we're celebrating a double. We've won the FA Vars and the United Counties League Premier Division. As we rise up the leagues and win the trophies. We get £30,000 for winning that. That will go nicely. And we've given 27 medals out for the 27 players that have played for us in the Vars this season. The board are happy. We've followed in the footsteps of South Shields, Fatcham Town and Chertsey Town. The first United to win the FA Vars in a little while. And the squad get a little bit of money between them. Yorkshire Amateur, they were given the title of biggest overachievers. But Mark Bragg finished top goal scorer in the competition with eight goals. Right, what we'll do now, we'll skip forward a little bit. We'll get to the season review and see who wins the Boss United Awards. And there we go. The very next day, we do get the end of season awards come through. So no surprises that Mark Bragg was given fans player of the season. 78% of the votes. Adam Hallam coming in second. The youngster, he's only 17. He's got a bright future, hopefully. And then Daniel Kavanagh 
with 6% came in third. Kevin is actually the only member of the first team 11 that's actually out of contract at the end of the season, apart from the loanees who will be going back to their parent clubs. Goal of the season went to Connor Smith. So Holman picked it up on the right-hand side. Bit of a battle to keep it. Across to Smith. And he just absolutely wallops it into the top corner. And young player of the season was Adam Hallam. We all know who's top goal scorer. Mark Brad, 47 goals in all competitions. And he's here to stay next year. Unless, of course, we get a bid in the summer from presumably a team a few levels above. And Mr Transfer Genius may decide to accept it. Highest average rating went to Bragg as well, 7.74. And he also got the most assists. This is a guy who's a set-piece specialist. Free kick taking of 15. Corners of 13. He's been involved in a lot of goals this season. Best pass completion went to Fabian Spies, our goalkeeper. Player of the match, 16 of them to Mark Bragg. Yellow cards, 14 of them to Daniel Kavanagh. And then we've had six different players sent off, but only once per person. And if we look at the review, we lost out in the FA Cup fourth qualifying round, which was better than expected. I was only really expecting to get through a couple of rounds, but we got through to the round where the National League clubs come in and we lost to one of them. We won the FA Vars and we won the United Counties League Premier Division. Of course, we did lose out in the League Cup quarter final, but that wasn't too disappointing. Match of the season was a 3 1 victory at Deeping in January, which we saw in an episode, but then the Oadby Town loss away was just after the loss to Chorley in the FA Cup. Average attendance of just under 1,200. We will be moving to a new stadium this summer. And we've used 37 players, which is pretty high. We've now got the club vision meeting. So it looks like we'll be aiming to win the league again. Be interesting to see how we do compare with other clubs at that level and what division we're actually going to be going into. Mark Bragg continues as team leader. He is the captain and Joe Hilton is a highly influential player. He's also recently signed a new contract for next season. In terms of injuries, we didn't really lose anybody. We're coming back on the 22nd of June. However, the season ends now. We've gone seven games, including a couple of friendlies, without conceding a goal. We've ended on a massive high at Wembley, where 4,000 of our pilgrims travelled to Wembley to see us lift the FA Vars. But it's time for me to continue through the summer, wait for the transfers in and out, and hopefully Mr Transfer Genius will give me a decent enough squad to win the league again next year. If you've enjoyed the content of this video, please don't forget to leave a like. And for more videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.